but soon as well from the shops as classes. So in today's video, we'll be solving the question from solar for the model. So as you can see in this question, this is question number five, it is given, consider a solo style growth model where production function is given as yt equals to, production function is given as yt equals to at function of at comma ht. So this is known as the production function given by solar growth model. So here yt is given as output of the final good, kt is given as capital stock and it is given as level of technology and the HD is basically the quantity of labor used in production or the labor force. Now assume the technology is equals to AT equals to A0 into A1 plus alpha to the power T. So the technology is given as AT equals to A0 1 plus alpha to the power T. Here, alpha is greater than 0. Now the growth rate of technology. Now A0 is the time 0 level of technology and HT1 is 1 plus N HT where N is greater than 0. This is the labor force growth rate. Now the production function is homogeneous of degree 1 and satisfies usual properties. Now the production function is homogeneous of degree 1. Now the production function is basically homogeneous of degree 1 and satisfy the usual properties. Now we have to assume that the inputs are essential and in other conditions hold. Now we have to assume that capital evolves according to this one. So we have to define yt equals to yt by ht. So we have to show yt equals to at, kt and second we have to do other ones. So first we will start with the first one. So here what we can do is first of all in the first one it was given. I will simply write down the production function. So for the one it is given as yt equals to at is given as AT function of AT comma HT. Now by dividing both side by HT, now by dividing both sides by HT, we get YT divided by HT to be equals to AT divided by HT function of AT comma HT. Now since AP is linearly homogeneous, we know since AP is what? It is linearly homogeneous. Now here YT, small yt is AT function of AT by HT comma 1. So now here it will be equals to AT function of AT comma 1 equals to AT function of AT. So we have solved the first one. Now we have to look into the second one. We have shown the value of YT to be like this. So we have shown it. Now in the second one it is given kt equals to kt by ht and it small it is equals to capital it by ht. So we have to show that kt plus 1 equals to 1 minus delta kt plus it by 1 plus 1 na n. So for this what we have to do is we will simply have to do what? In option 2 we know capital evolves accordingly evolves according to you know capital evolves according to what according to kt plus 1 
equals to 1 minus delta at plus it. Now, if you divide it by ht, by ht, we will get it to be at plus 1 divided by ht equals to 1 minus delta at by ht plus it by ht. Now from here we can further solve it, we will get it to be at plus 1 divided by ht equals to 1 minus delta at by ht plus it by ht. Now if you further solve it, you will get the value to be at plus 1 divided by ht plus 1 multiplied, it will be multiplied by what? It will be multiplied ht plus 1 divided by ht equals to 1 minus delta at by ht plus it by ht. Now by using, now if you use, now if you use ht plus 1 to be equals to 1 plus and ht we get the value to be 1 plus n ht by ht plus n ht get it to be 1 plus n ht by ht so this gets cancelled out will be multiplied equals to so 1 minus delta at plus it now by solving it further you will get it to be 1 plus n at plus 1 equals to 1 minus delta at plus it is basically equals to kt plus 1 equals to 1 minus delta kt plus it divided by 1 plus n. So we have found the value of kt plus 1 to be equals to 1 minus delta kt plus it divided by 1 plus n. Now we will look into the next question. So in this next question it was given, suppose the savings rate is given by S t equals to delta y t, where delta basically belongs to 0 to 1. So the condition we have to derive to determine the steady state capital stock when alpha equals to 0. So how many non-zero steady states are there? So we have to find how many non-zero steady states are there. For this what we have to do is, First, insert another page. So, in this question, it was given ST is basically equals to delta YT and IT is equals to ST. Now, here YT is given as AT function of small k t. So, this is given. Now, further, what we can do is we can simply write it to be equals to st equals to delta yt equals to delta at function of kt. So now if you substitute, now by substituting, if you substitute i in the expression, expression we 
I from now if you substitute I in the expression we derived for kt plus 1 so it will be like kt plus 1 equals to 1 minus delta kt plus delta at function of kt divided by 1 plus n. Now by using alpha equals to 0 we can get the value of kt plus 1 to be equals to value of kt plus 1 will be equals to 1 minus delta kt plus delta a into function of kt divided by 1 plus n. If you simply draw the diagram here, we will get it to be like this, a 45 degree line and the kt which is capital star will look like kt plus 1 which will be equals to 1 minus delta kt which we have found here as you can see plus 6 into a function of kt divided by 1 plus n. So from here we can find the value of k star which will be equals to 1 minus delta k star plus delta a naught function of k star divided by 1 plus n. Now if you further solve it, you get it to be equals to it will be basically now you can put the value of k star here which will be 1 plus n k star minus 1 minus delta k star which will be equals to delta a naught function of k star. Now by doing this you can get the value of k star to be equals to delta a naught function of k star divided by n plus delta. So we have solved the third question as well. Now we go to the next portion of this question. In this next portion it is asked let tau t is equals to kt plus 1 by kt be the gross growth rate. Now suppose alpha is equals to 0 so we have to derive an expression for tau t and we have to eva evaluate and disguise the sound of d what tau t divided by d kt. So in this question what we have to do is first of all we will simply write down our finding of k t plus 1 which will be equals to 1 minus delta k t plus delta a naught function of k t will be divided by 1 plus n. Now here r t will be equals to k t plus 1 divided by k t which will be equals to 1 minus delta divided by 1 plus n plus delta a naught function of kt divided by kt1 plus n. Now if you differentiate this rt with respect to kt you will get the value to be equals to delta a naught function of kt kt minus function of kt. Now this will be divided by kt square 1 plus n. So now so the function of kt will be less than 0. So g tau t by dkt will be less than 0 as well. So I hope you have understood the question. So if you still have any query or doubt regarding this question, you can simply WhatsApp me on this number which is given as 9836793076 or you can also go to our website which is given as www.
through more observe classes.com. There you will find a lot of other videos like this and you will also get to see a lot of other materials which are needed for different entrance exam. So thank you for watching this video and have a nice day ahead.